All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, using objects for lookups. So objects can be thought of as key value storage. So now we're changing the word property to key, just so you all know, because that confused me for a long time. Uh, and this is going to be like a dictionary. If we have tabular data, we can use an object to look up their values rather than a switch statement or an if else stick chain. Pardon me. Uh, this is most useful when we know that our input data is limited to a certain range. So here's an example of an article object. We've got uh, all the keys right here. We used to call them properties before this one. Uh, and then the values right here. So we've got const article author article author inside the brackets. And that's going to set that's going to be uh, Kashan Hussein right here. Then we've also got const article link equals article in brackets link, which is going to be this link right here. And then we've got down here const value equals title, which is this right here, but it's not going to do anything. But when we do value lookup an article with value in the brackets, it's going to the value is going to equal title. So this here is going to equal this title right here. All right. So let's reiterate. Article author is the string Kashan Hussein. Uh, article link is the string this link right here. And value lookup is the string how to create objects in JavaScript. This one right here. All right. So we're going to convert the switch statement into an object called lookup. And we'll use it to look up val and assign the associated string to the result variable. All right. So this one's going to take a little while. Let's get to it. So we'll start by saying, um, what are we doing? Look up. So we'll say, let look up equal. And we'll have the curly braces right here. So inside of here, we're going to start uh, adding our key value pairs. So we're going to start off with uh, alpha. Alpha like this, have a colon. And then we're going to have like this, atoms inside quotation marks. And then we'll have a a uh, comma right here. And for this one, let's just take this, copy it, and drop it off uh, one, two, three, four, five more times. So we'll say control V five times like that. All right. So let's take uh, let's take this one out of here, the little uh, comma, and let's take Bravo here, copy it, drop it off in alpha. Okay. Charlie is the third one. Delta. Echo, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, like that. And then we'll take Frank, Easy, Denver, Chicago, Boston. Just like that. All right. So let's get rid of these uh, switch statements right here. All right. So that's gone. And now what we got to do is use it to look up Val and assign it to the associated string to the result, assign the associated string to the result variable. All right. So right here, we're just going to say result equals look up. And then we're going to have it at, uh, let's put the the uh, what is it? The brackets right there. And we'll say look up at uh, val like this. So whatever value goes into here, uh, we're going to put it into here and it's going to change this empty string into one of these right here or it should at least. So let's uh, wrap this phonetic lookup uh, function call in parentheses. Go to the front of it and say console.log like that. And we can see Chicago right there. So let's put uh, Foxtrot in there. Frank, let's put Alpha in there. Looks good. All right. So let's run the test. There we go. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to testing objects for properties. And we'll see you next time.